Hello everyone. Let me ask you a very simple question. What do you use to run your car? Do you use water to run the car? Obviously no. It would be so good if we use water to run the car. But unfortunately, we have to go to the petrol pump to buy either diesel or petrol for the car. Now you might have seen the steam engines which used to pull the trains in earlier times. These steam engines use coal to power up the engine. Liquefied petroleum gas or LPG is used in every kitchen for cooking of food. Now all these products, petroleum, coal and natural gas, all these products are termed as fossil fuels and they are being utilized by humans since a very long time. Now these fossil fuels are nothing but remains of plants and animals which got buried inside the oceans hundreds of millions of years ago. Then, due to the effect of pressure and temperature, they get broken down into simpler substances and finally, the product which is left is a fossil fuels. So every time we are looking at any fossil fuel, we are actually looking at the plants and animals which were living on the earth around hundreds and of thousands of years ago. Some were even there before the dinosaurs. Now coal was formed by the remains of plants which got buried inside the ocean and petroleum products like petrol and natural gas, they were formed by aquatic marine life. Now these plants and animals which got buried inside the ocean, when they were living, they were forming their food or they were getting their energy by using solar energy. So we can say that Fossil fuels are an indirect source of solar energy. Now this formation of fossil fuels take a very long time. It takes millions of years to form the shape into the fossil fuels. And they have to be formed with the right amount of pressure and temperature. So we can say that once they get exhausted, it would again take a very long time for their formation. Hence we can say that they are non-renewable sources of energy. Nowadays, if we look for the use of fossil fuels, petroleum products are mainly used for the transportation purposes like petrol is used in the cars and diesel is used mainly in trucks or buses. And coal is used to make electricity in the thermal power plants. The working of thermal power plants we'll see in a next video.